Hello, my name is Clark Taylor, and in this short video I will uh, describe a little bit about this paper, Conservative Estimation of Inertial Sensor Errors Using Allen Variance Data, that's going to be published in the Navigation Journal for ION. Um, this paper was written by Kyle Lathander. Um, he was uh, an intern here and did some great work. He's a student at Caltech, and then also myself, Clark Taylor. So, what is the, the main point behind this paper? This paper looks at, at two different problems. The first is uh, inertial sensors are always characterized, right? Um, they're important to very many navigation systems, but if I'm going to use them in a fusion system, then I have to have some idea of the, the performance characteristics of those navigation systems. And so there's been a lot of prior work out there that characterizes how those inertial navigation system works. And, and some of these, these works are shown here at the bottom of the slide. We've got the generalized method of wavelet moments and RMAV, um, two great papers which we build off of in this paper. Um, what those papers do not address, though, is how do I overbound the performance? So, like this, this first paper reference here showed that if I want to have assured navigation, so when my Kalman filter generates a, a fused result, I want its covariance to be at least as large or possibly larger than the true error inside of my system, then I need to overbound those errors and I need to overbound them across all frequencies. So in the frequency domain, it needs to overbound all of those. Um, and so we look at how can we characterize inertial sensors, but do it in such a way that we overbound the errors as opposed to just trying to find the best fit. And that's, that's really the main contribution of this paper is moving from a best, a best match approach to a best match but with an overbounding constraint. Now we did this in using two modifications to the prior techniques. Um, we modified both GMWM and RMAV to, to do this. Uh, the first is that we perform constrained optimization. So rather than optimizing to get a best fit, we do a constrained optimization to make sure that we're overbounding. And then the second part is we do a chi-squared overbounding technique. Um, anytime you do a data collect with a sensor, you're only getting one sample of that data. I mean, there's lots of samples over the time that you collect, but you want to make sure that that, that set of samples overbounds, or at least is a good representation of any set of samples you could get from that sensor. And we do that using a, a chi-squared overbounding technique. Um, we, we performed, if you look at the paper, there's a lot of results there on simulation-based techniques. We show, um, if you compare the GMWM and the RMAV technique, uh, we ended up going with the constrained GMWM technique. Um, we also showed the chi-squared bounding uh, overbounds to the specifications that we told it to. We told overbound 95% of the time, and we see that happen. Uh, we also did with a real sensor. It's the sensor shown here in the bottom right. This is a commercial-grade analog devices um, IMU. Uh, we did a Allen variance characterization of this sensor 20 different times. And inside of that, uh, you can see the overbounding. If we just use the traditional GMWM technique, we overbounded approximately 50% of the time using our constrained and chi-squared overbounding. Um, you know, on one axis, we were bound to 98%, another one 90%, another one 99%. So, so we're approaching that sort of 95% overbounding, which is what we were shooting for using the chi-squared overbound percentage that we set it to. And so we show that this, this works um, both in simulation and with, with real data. So that's the point of this paper, is, is to provide an overbounded characterization of the inertial sensors, both, uh, both white noise and also correlated noise. And hope you enjoy looking at this paper.